What's going on guys, JFC here. Today we're going to be talking about the best custom tactics to help you beat the five back. The meta that's running absolutely wild in FIFA that nobody likes playing against. But also these tactics are just going to help you beat any formation. They're probably the best tactics that I've found right now that I'm using on the game. Plus the formation as well. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. We'll talk about kind of why I have these tactics, the way they are, the way that everything gets set up and all that. But I'm going to be honest, the only way in this game to beat five back, at least that I've found so far consistently, is to play five back. Oh, no, 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 no. Five back, three back, whatever you want to call it. It's basically five at the back with like a hundred attackers as well. It's a formation that basically does things for you. You pretty much can get away with any of these formations here. The three, four, one, two, just my personal favorite. The five, four, one, I think is also fantastic. I just prefer the three, four, one, two, but you might like the five, four, one better. And also the three, four, two, one is fantastic. Also, uh, the three, five, two is basically the same as what I'm using. It's not much different. So not really talking about that one, but the three, four, two, one as well is also great, but I like to use the three, four, one, two here. So in the tactics and instructions, I'll kind of fill you guys in on what's a little more personal preference than like what I would say is definitely a concrete thing you're going to want. Because unfortunately, the formations and tactics themselves aren't as personal as they used to be earlier in FIFA. I think there's certain tactics and instructions now that are so OP with these new players that we've got that they're almost kind of, I mean, they're just so important more than they ever really have been in the past, which kind of sucks. Pressure on heavy touch. That one is a little bit more personal preference. Pressure on heavy touch or balance, though, are the two that I would use here for sure. I would not do drop back and I would not do constant pressure or press after possession loss. I think these two are obviously not a great idea. Pressure on heavy touch will still give you some of those like press interceptions and it'll only rarely overdo it. Um, and I kind of like the trade off that I get for intercepting some balls that are deep in the opponent area. With 45 depth 55, both these I would just keep anywhere between 40 and 60. Play around with it as much as you want to. But three at the back. You don't want your depth higher than 60. Definitely not. So don't do anything more than that. Balance and direct passing, I think is the best one. You might enjoy fast buildup and balanced more. You might enjoy balanced, balanced, uh, but it's probably gonna be one of those three if I had to guess. I personally like balanced and direct passing for the three at the back formation the most. With the 50, that's kind of, you can just keep that the same. Players in box, I maybe have one up. That's at six, that's at five, I believe. This is at six, so one tick up. Corners, free kicks, definitely keep those at one though. I definitely enjoy keeping those at one. Now to the instructions. Now, two strikers, I have completely on balance. The only thing I'd really ever put on these guys is have them on stay central. Um, if I was going to do anything to them, I'll keep the strikers on balance. The cam, I want to get into the box for cross. I definitely want that. Only other thing I'd maybe put on him is stay forward, but I actually like him coming back a little bit more to pick up the ball. Left mid and right mid are going to be both the same. And the key to this formation, these are probably this left mid, right mid slot, three at the back, five at the back, same with their wing backs, are probably the most broken positions in FIFA and they need to be fixed next year. And if they're not, this five back, three back shit meta is going to continue once again all next year. You have them on come back on defense stay wide, get him behind. So basically, he runs back as a left back, and he's also a left winger. And they run the entire game, and it's completely broken, and it's just kind of dumb. It's the same thing on this right mid side here. Come back on defense, stay wide, get him behind. That tactic, if you have the, like, that tactic in your team is so ridiculous. Or sorry, I should say instruction. Um, And it's so meta, it's just so annoying to play against, and EA needs to do next year. I know they're not going to fix it for this year, but for next year, please have the come back on defense, get him behind people. Not so ridiculously overpowered. The two center mids you have on stay back while attacking. You can put them on cover center if you want to. I personally don't. It's only thing I change on those guys. Definitely want both on comeback or sorry, stay back while it's hacking. The three center backs, do whatever you want to. Same with the goalkeeper. So that's pretty much that. Yeah, I've used the four triple two, the four three two one, the four two three one just very recently. And honestly, it's just so difficult to break down three at the back people. The only way consistently against elite division players that I have found to do it is with a three at the back or five at the back formation because you're able to at least counter a little bit when your left mid and right mid go up the field. Because now I have an extra attacker to go up the field when their left mid right mid if they're in the five back or three back go up the field i can at least counter a little bit with my thomas moutier and marco royce and especially with these team of the season players i mean uh, it's just like you just don't have many weaknesses when you play three back or five back you just don't and that's honestly a video i'm probably gonna make soon about how the gameplay is just gonna get worse and worse from here on out in fifa unfortunately over the course of this fifa cycle because of this broken tactics and i also have fun custom tactics too we'll probably get into those in a couple weeks and people aren't really grinding fut champs quite as hard to get great rewards people right now just kind of 
want to get the best tactics in the game. Then after that, we can talk about fun ones. And last year, unfortunately, was just better for more fun tactics. And this year, it's just not quite like that, unfortunately. So now getting into the team, the only really re recommendations I'm going to make here is your right striker be right footed or five star weak foot. Your left striker be left footed or five star weak foot, right? To be able to have those cross body shots. And it's the exact same thing for right mid and left mid. Your right mid should be right footed or five star weak foot. Thomas Munier is right footed. And then Marco Royce over here is five star weak foot so make sure that you can get those cross body shots as good as you can your center mids doesn't really matter as much you're not coming with the field the cam obviously it can matter a little bit but i'm fine with doing whatever foot you want to with the cam that's really the only recommendation and then maybe say for a center mid you would maybe think that two dms here like a Vieira and a casemiro would work really well i actually think two center mids here that can dribble the ball and be a little bit more agile i think are better guys like javi or as a dan appear low some with a little bit better dribbling but can also defend right that I think is the move there and your three center backs just be pacey every center back now is pacey so it's kind of just pointless advice really other than that that's all i've got going through the team quickly i already played with this team we have live gameplay so you'll see my live reaction but harry kane is fantastic i saw hype on twitter for this card by people who are pretty good at the game and i'm like uh, i'm not so sure like how good could he really be and he's very good he really is very good next gen fifa harry kane's a monster eusebio if you've not used eusebio or had a chance to please do so eusebio is absolutely outrageous in this game his best fifa by far mid pele is mid pele club legend 1100 games for the club pure passion out of pele there marco royce left mid really enjoy him i think it's worth the price thomas munier is a fantastic right mid in this exact formation he's like perfect for it a little slow but uh he's very good zidane and pullet are zidane and Hullet. and the surprising center back here has been schlotterbeck i even had a basic on him which i didn't even mean to have and i still noticed how fast he was schlotterbeck is very good and outside of that i got nothing else to say unfortunately three back and five back are the meta this year and it's not changing anytime soon so let's get ourselves into the gameplay all right game one switchback fc and we're going against veron and prime viera that's not ideal uh, that's my bad okay that's not the start we're looking for is he just not even gonna defend me let's go you save this is just the classic elite division defend with viera and let your cpus do everything else Moon here is wide open. Oh man. Just a it's just a right mid that's up and down the field constantly, wide open all the time. It's just ridiculous. Nice, Marco. Great shoot. Dude, Marco Rice is so good, bro. I don't I don't want to hear any of the haters out there. What? Yeah, it's not a great goal. Thanks, EA. Bro, look at Kane. Oh my goodness, Harry Kane. Bro, that's all Harry Kane. Okay. I mean, you don't have to save it if you don't want to, Ramzil. Oh yeah, good luck. You are not catching him. Oh, I just, I just sold so hard. Bro, this guy sees Hullet and he just loses his composure. Oh yeah, Marco. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, step overs and Harry Kane, body feints. Card's way better than I expected. Whoa, Ruben. What did I just see? Beautiful. Oh, wide open. Good football. It's a cheese formation, but hey. All right, well, GG's. I mean, he scored three, but honestly, I felt like he created nothing on me. It just felt like I, I had so many guys back on defense and so many guys forward, and that's just how this formation works. Okay, we're going to play another one, and it's the same team, I think. Switchback FC. Was that not the same exact team? 
that we just played. Varan and Vieira. Yep, it is the exact same team. Okay, this guy's just definitely just lost full. Nice, Kane. Oh, that's such cheese. That player lock was so long. Okay, Kane. Oh, on a green. Bro, that guy would have insta rage quit if I scored that. That's so annoying. Oh my god, these runs are crazy with Kane, but his shooting has let me down a little bit. Yeah, see it, bro. Oh, look, right back to auto defending the second he gets fucking destroyed. Oh my god, this guy's so annoying to play against. Kane. Oh, the animation is so nice. Those shooting animations, man. Harry Kane gets them, they're so nice. Boom. Yeah, this guy's absolutely lost full now. Eusebio on a green is an automatic finish. Boom. No, man. Bro, go back to your auto defending, bro. You're not cut out for this manual shit. You're just not cut out for it, boss. We're going to Kane here. No. Oh my god, it worked. Harry. Boom! No way he's not scoring that. What? What was that just that just saved that? Mike Minon? Oh, here he comes. Don't want to see Kane in the short corner. <laughs> well, uh, GG's to that guy. Um, yeah, this formation is is just every time I play with it, I'm uh, just I, I don't have any weaknesses. I don't have any weaknesses, it feels like, which is just insane. Subscribe if you're new around here. I love you all. See you next video very, very soon. Peace.